Say hey, you guys. It is cold outside. <laughs> it is cold outside to run down to the mailbox and get the mail. Um, we got like, it was like a record amount of snow for Lexington, Kentucky for the 6th of January, which was 9.9 .9 inches. It was so light and fluffy. Literally, even with that much snow, I actually swept it off of my sidewalk. Well, welcome to this episode of Going Down to the Mailbox. It's been a couple of weeks, so we got a lot to catch up on. One of the best things about going to the mailbox is getting good mail, happy mail. And thank you all for all the wonderful mail, both electronically and with your comments and real mail. And let me tell you what's even more fun is heading down to the mailbox and getting a package from me <laughs> with something great from my store, stuff I didn't know I needed. Now this, you guys, is the hoodie. Some of you have been asking about the hoodie. It's really super duper warm. It's real fuzzy on the inside. Mm -hmm. It says choices down each sleeve and has my initials right there. And as you saw, it's a hoodie, so it's all good. It's very, very warm. Now, oh, this is a large. Now it's really big on me, okay? It's long, real long. Um, I've actually already washed it, I think, twice. So I wear a size eight in a women's. So if that helps you kind of when you're ordering to know how things are sized, the t-shirts, I ordered a large. They're fitted like for a woman with the V-neck and, and the round neck, but they're fitted and it's and it's big. Um, but I, I like it a little bit big. So, you know, I can wash it a lot and it'll still fit really good. So if that helps you all when placing an order, some of you had mentioned to me just privately, Hey, we've noticed that you don't have advertisers on your podcast. Like everybody has advertisers on the podcast. And I'm like, no, I haven't decided to go that route yet. And I just haven't found the right advertisers because it's gotta be something I really, really truly believe in. And so, um, you know, I have a hobby. <laughs> Businesses make money. Hobbies cost money. So right now, this is my hobby, and I love it. <laughs> uh, but anytime that you do order over at lindatubin.com, it does help the cause. And then you'll get great mail from me. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got a lot to talk about today because it's been a couple of weeks. We are just wrapping up our fifth episode that was released on th this past Thursday. And we spent the whole first month on mental health. Now we're segueing into physical health. And of course, it's all tied together. And each week we have a winner. And the way that you get your name entered into the drawing is to simply share the video, either from YouTube or from Facebook. And then your name goes into a drawing. And our winner this week is, drum roll please, is Wendy Williams Watts. <laughs> congratulations, Wendy. You'll be getting something fun from our store. <laughs> All right, congratulations. And also our first four winners were Deborah Brewer, Sophie Anderson, Heather Arthur, and Jennifer Huff. Um, all right, everybody ready? Everybody ready to head on over and let's, I always love, I always love this podcast because you're the star. Okay, you know, I've said this is a place that you hang out with me and I hang out with you and this is kind of our little community. But when I do a mailbox issue, it's really all about you. And so listen, if you're driving and you're listening on Apple or Spotify or YouTube or somewhere, just listen for your name. If you've made a comment, I may be giving you a shout out. Um, so away we go. Let me move with the magic of my little wand here and we'll head on over to the good old thing called the internet. Okie dokie. All right, we're going to start over on YouTube. Uh, my Christmas episode, you guys, was about hope and healing. Hope and healing. Thank you for the love. That was a hard one because I was very transparent with you that I was very angry during the past 21 months at just some of the excessive control that I thought and the excessive messaging and programming and mind control that was going on. And so I was very transparent with you and I shared with you seven ways that I controlled all that. So let me just highlight a couple of you guys here real quickly. Okay, not too shabby says, love these little talks. It starts my day in a positive and hopeful place. Thank you so much. Uh, Natalie Ballard says, love this episode. Thank you for creating a space of hope, love, and encouragement. We are so grateful. Uh, PJ Moore says, hello from Texas. Love this episode. My brain is like a sponge. I've always said I love to learn. Thank you. Uh, this is the 30 minutes I need every week. Thank you, Larry. That's very wonderful of you. Uh, Kaz Link says, simplicity. Thank you. That's really where I try to get to with common sense. Barbara says, this was a bomb for my spirit. 
Rebecca Moore says, I'm so glad I found your common sense series. I love your transparency. We knew more of it in this world so we can be honest with each other and come together as a community. And thank you, Rebecca, for seeing that that is what I'm trying to do. I'm very transparent with people. I admit that I have had certain feelings, certain emotions. I certainly have certain opinions, but that doesn't mean that uh, if someone with a different opinion or a different emotion is wrong, <laughs> I will be transparent and say that I've also been dealing with the anger. I try to deal with it with exercising, Zumba, boxing, workouts, yoga, walking the doggies. Girl, that is impressive. Or by watching YouTube videos that resonate with me, but you've inspired me to get more involved in my local government and community. Yes, I'm a doer, Rebecca. I'm a doer. And so I like to fix things and I'm a fixer. And so that's one of the reasons that uh, I really started this series is like just encouraging people to go out and get more involved uh, so that they can quit being so frustrated. Um, and then y'all were so kind as to tell me where you're from, Buffalo, New York, Cedar Springs, Michigan, Lucinda is from Greenville, Indiana, love your transparency, thank you, Lucinda, uh, Hoshton, is it Hoshton, Georgia, Lynn is from Morgantown, West Virginia, Rose is from St. Clair Shores, Michigan, Not Too Shabby is from Oxford, Alabama, Teresa Grover is from Jackson, Michigan, uh, Sarah Skim, is it Skim? Skim? Cleveland, Ohio. Diana Christie is from Mount Carmel, Illinois. Uh, Illinois, that's such a Kentucky name way to say that. <laughs> Illinois, I know it's Illinois. Okay, uh, Laura is from Lafayette, Indiana. Joy Tucker is from Laquita, California. Pam is from Pennsylvania. And Lynette is from Miles, or no, Mills River, North Carolina. All right, so let's just stay over uh, well, let's skip back. Let's go back over to Hope and Healing. Let's stay with Hope and Healing, and then I'll come back to Dr. Dr. Edwards' episode. Over on Facebook, lots and lots of comments. Gracious, lots and lots of comments. And uh, I just think it really struck a chord with people that they could it could resonate with people with the transparency because a lot of comments, Peggy talked about honesty. Uh, Rhonda talked about transparency. Christine Maupin, is it Balasik? Balasik? Wow, this is my favorite episode so far. Thank you for being authentic and providing practical steps for moving forward. The episode impacted my thinking and vision moving into 2022. I'm glad these are episodes uh, because it gives me time to rewind if I need to and honestly process. And thank you, Christine, because I think a lot of us, um, myself included, can be reactionary from time to time or we misinterpret something that's being said or maybe we just need, to, like you said, time to process it and think through it and how that would apply to me. Uh, you all were so kind. Uh, Christine is from Harrison. Berg, Virginia, home of the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. It is beautiful over there. It truly is. Pam Rowe Persimisic. <laughs> I just slaughtered your name, Pam. It's from Oregon. Uh, Joyce is from Indiana. Uh, focus on people that matter, Judy says. Uh, Brennan says, community, community, community. We have to start making some small starts. Uh, you have to start small to make big changes. She's from Cleveland. All right, as we head down through there, everybody's just sharing with me where they are from. Uh, Jennifer, who was our winner a couple of weeks ago, thank you for sharing your heart. There's a lot to be said about working through pain so you can help others as well. You know, Jennifer, we talked about how a, uh, someone hosting an event never lets someone have a microphone that has not worked through an issue because they'll use their audience as their therapist. And it's such a true statement. Um, and I think a lot of people have used Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as therapists during the past two years, which, you know, I'm not saying that's wrong or right. But uh, I mean, I think that's what we're witnessing is with a lot of the emotion being, you know, put out there. That's that's what people are doing. Uh, Lisa, oh, I've known Lisa, gracious. Lisa was a student in my class in New Washington. Lisa Seward, gracious. What year was that, girl? Was it the 80s, 70s? Uh, it was a long time ago. Anyway, thank you for being a positive person. Uh, 
I love you. Love you, Lisa. And uh, just some, again, Carrie's from Jefferson, Wisconsin. Devona is from Sensonville, West Virginia. Betty is from Harrison, Arkansas. Nancy says she's going to hit replay. She's from Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Janine is from South San Francisco, California. Jennifer is from Hurricane, West Virginia. Oh, Lorna, Lorna Sue. Lorna Sue is from Grimsley, Tennessee. And Karen Banks is from Westfield, Iowa, near Sioux City. Cindy is from Broxton, Cal uh, Georgia. And Kim Peters is from Franklin, Indiana. Boy, Kim, I've made a lot of trips to Franklin, Indiana during my sales career. I, I, I bet you I probably made three or 400 trips up I-65 uh, to go to Indianapolis to work that general area. Shannon is from Harrisonburg, Kentucky. Okay, let's head on over to um, the next episode. And it's just only been out there for a couple of days, but I wanted to include it on this. Dr. Edwards, we're going to see this probably break all our records on viewers for podcasts. I know you all have heard me talk about her for years, and she certainly did not let us down with her topic of top 10 10 things that you can do for free to build your immune system. And she also covered you guys. If you haven't listened to that episode, she talked about things that, pe that people who, the people who are vaccinated out there under the sound of my voice, things that you might be doing that's actually weakening that vaccine. Okay. But we all need, everybody listen to me. We all need to be de developing our own natural immune defenses. Okay. By Grace 1980 says, I love this segment. I've been on a reclaiming health journey since February of 21. This is reinforcement. Kathy Martin says, I look forward to this each week. I just love Dr. Edwards. Lucinda says, what a powerful message you all convey. Number nine is going to be a blockbuster. It is the ninth thing that I've recorded. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for noticing that, Lucinda. Lisa Fox says, Dr. Edwards is a genius. She has really helped me. I am still on the road to recovery. Simply Beautiful by Cindy says, you introduced me to Dr. Edwards years ago. What a difference it has made in my life. And Pam says, thank you so much for this episode. How very informative and valuable and sensible moving my phone today further away from my bed because she talked about gracious you guys getting rid of all blue lights any artificial lighting in your room whatsoever, getting your phone way away from your bed. Don't be sleeping, sleeping with your Fitbit on or any, any device is interfering with your REM sleep. Okay. So let's head over now to Facebook. Uh, again, just a massive turnout over there on Facebook for this particular, particular episode. Like I said, I'm recording this just two days after it. So we're going to see a lot more comments and a lot more shares over there. But Kelly Silloway says, wow, Dr. Lena, you are all that for sure. So great fun. Linda introduced me to you before. Okay, need to work on those meditations, uh, excuse me, meditations and no electronics in bed. That's exactly right. Tammy, is it Tammy Beck? Dr. Lena Edwards, I was so excited to watch this after working with you for two years. I feel like I really meet you by watching this video. This is a great gift for us because we can watch it more than once to let your advice truly sink in. It will be a replay for sure, Tammy. Christy Phelps said, so true, never could completely grasp how the foods I was eating correlated to how I physically, mentally, and emotionally felt till I worked with Dr. Edwards and experienced it for myself. Kathleen, also I know Kathleen Skaggs has worked with Dr. Edwards. Thank you so much for having Dr. Edwards this time. I love that she and Pat both reminded us. She's referring to Pat Pearson, you guys, which was episode number three. She is the psychotherapist that I encourage you to follow her podcast, which is called Stop Self-Sabotage. And also check out patpearson.com for more of her materials. Um, so Kathleen is saying, so thank you. Love that both her. Uh, Dr. Edwards and Pat have reminded us to choose our diet. It is a choice what you put in your mouth. I needed to hear that. Um, Christy is talking about getting her newsletter. Dr. Edwards has a newsletter. If you've not went over to Dr. Lena, L-E-N-A, edwards.com, sign up for her newsletter. And speaking of newsletters, let's just go over here right now, you guys. 
to common sense choices. Now you should have been getting an email each week since you've signed up. So we don't ever want you to miss an episode. Okay, we never want you to miss an episode. So uh, be sure to go over here and right there's the button. Now guys, it's a two-step system. Everybody say it out loud with me, two-step system. It's a two-step system. So some of you may not be getting your emails because there was an email that was sent as soon as you signed up and it, it might be in your junk or spam, or if you're a Gmail user, it's probably in your promotions tab and you were supposed to click confirm. It's a two-step uh, uh, protection. So it's just making sure, they're making sure, yes, I want to hear from Linda. I want to get these emails by way of, uh, I want to get these episodes by way of email. And I also send out a text about every two or three weeks just to cross-reference, make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. And just, uh, just to kind of let you know, hang on just a second, we'll make this bigger. Hang on just a second. Stop the share. Okay, there we go. Um, lots of things coming in 2022. Uh, we'll probably venture into some classes uh, where you can sign up and actually participate in a, a uh, homework kind of situation, a more intensive class with me. So there'll be a lot of things going on in that community. So be sure that you're on the email list, lindatupin.com for the spring. Well, I could go on and on. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of a grateful heart. I'm wishing all of you a happy, wonderful new year. I, uh, you, know, you see the Valentine's in my background. I kept a tub. This is your little tip for the day. I kept one of those really long, they're kind of narrow, about that big, about what, about eight inches high. They're really long, barely can put your arms out around them. Uh, I kept one in my storage and for all the years that my children were in grade school, they would come home with all their cute little stuff, all their stuff. And I would just lay it in there. I never took it out, just laid it in there. And then, you know, after they're grown and gone and they've got kids of their own, you kind of find that tub and start through it. And so I realized I had all of their materials for all those years in that tub. And so I'll just kind of show you real quickly my refrigerator. Uh, there we go. Uh, things that they had made 20 and 30 years ago. And now Ren and Lilu, my granddaughters, they'll add to the collection. And so now I have them stored in one of those little plastic things in my basement. They're just little, you see them, you can get them at Target, wherever. And there's a drawer for Valentine's Day. There's a drawer for Halloween and there's a drawer for Easter and it's all of their materials. And so I decorate my house with my kids stuff. So that's your little tip for the day. <laughs> okay, well, we are on our way. Get ready this month. You're going to hear from uh, a couple of people in my life who've made a big difference. And one is the first person who ever taught me yoga. Glenn Brown is going to be my guest speaker later on this month. He is uh, world ranked in yoga but one of the kindest, most gentlest souls on earth. And he has agreed to be my guest speaker. So I can't wait for you to meet Glenn. We're going to talk about our yoga and our practices and dispel some myths perhaps out there about yoga and the benefit of it. And then I have a precious, wonderful, incredibly fit, incredibly healthy friend by the name of Pamela Waldrop Shaw. And she is also going to be my guest speaker this month talking about her health journey and the day she made a decision to take control of it. So it's going to be a great month, you guys. Thank you for supporting this. And head over there and get yourself a hoodie. Get yourself a great coffee mug, great t-shirt over at lindatupin.com. Click stuff I didn't know I needed. And Mike Rowe, all you have to do is say the world word. You know, maybe, you know what? I just, I need to send Mike Rowe a coffee cup. I watch him all the time. He drinks coffee when he makes his podcast. What a great idea. That way I would be in front of his face every single day. Great idea, you guys. <laughs> all right, crank up the music. This episode is over. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>